Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have something pretty interesting. It's a no-name branded BL Heli 32 ESCs and in the picture it didn't come with a heatsink but in real life it comes with a heatsink so that's the first good sign in a way. So let's quickly talk about some of the specs. It is a BL Heli 32 ESC. It does have a telemetry pad. However, there is no current sensor or anything so telemetry might be just for RPM and possibly temperature. So if we take a look here, we have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven caps for filtration. Uh, that in theory should be pretty decent. And it is rated for 30 amps and a 38 amp burst. Uh, it doesn't state for how long the 38 amp burst goes for, but it says it goes to 38 amps. Now, overall, I mean, there's really nothing I could really say. It doesn't have a current sensor. It ha does have a telemetry pad and um, it's... It's a cheap little ESC. I mean, it's $15. Actually, it's not even that cheap, to be honest. So hopefully it performs absolutely crazy or something. So let's just see what it comes with. It comes with a clear heat shrink, uh, silicone wires. It comes with just one signal wire and your power wires. And I think, I believe these are like 18 gauge or even less, maybe. You know, they're 18 gauge. So it does come with 18 gauge uh, silicone wires for the, uh, for the ESC here. So... Let's get its dimensions and let's just get testing because there's really nothing else to say about this. Uh, the quality looks okay. I mean, it's not bad. Width is 13 millimeters and height is 24.5 millimeters. I mean, length is 25.5 millimeters. And overall height from the highest points is around 4.5 millimeters. So, yeah. All right. So, enough talking and let's get testing. All right, guys, so the testing results are in and um, it's not looking. I would not buy this for the, its current amount and price. So let's just take a look here on the right side, right up top, top right corner. We have this no name Beale Heli 32 ESC throttle noise level. Uh, the first line here is 10 percent, 25 percent throttle noise, 50 percent throttle noise, 75 and 100 percent throttle noise. Here is just simulating maneuvers in hardcore rolls and it induces voltage spikes in current. Uh, back to the system and on the left here it's the same thing but this is the gem fan maverick esc which is 11 dollars so and this one is 15 bucks and this is 11 dollars as you can tell they're pretty much almost identical it's in, it's it's exactly insane how they're just almost identical here but as you can tell here from looking at the noise graph down below you see the gem fan is three dollars cheaper and it's a little bit better i mean they're about the same range but i expect more from a 15 dollar esc nowadays and this is performing like a 10 dollar esc this no name esc here uh for example let's bring in the emax formula i think it's about, it's around the same price here so the emax formula here's the throttle noise so that's just a zoomed in uh there we go all right so if we take a look here uh this is in the same price category, the one on the left now is the Emax formula. As you can tell, the Emax formula is a lot better. So if I had to choose between this no name and the Emax formula, I would definitely go for the Emax formula here. And if we take a look at the Emax uh, formula's throttle noise, just a second, there it is. Okay, you can see it's 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 noticeably a lot better. It's a lot more efficient. It's uh, it's it's obviously a lot better here. Um, so yeah, this one I would not really recommend for anyone. It doesn't even have all the features. It looks tiny. I don't think those MOSFETs are very, very that. I don't think they're very good at all, to be honest. I think they're they're just okay. But for fifteen bucks, I think you're overpaying for this uh, ESC, especially that it's no named and it doesn't really have much going for it. I was really hoping it was going to be spectacular, like insanely good. But um, yeah, the, the results here just speak for themselves. So this one is really a no-go for 15 bucks, in my opinion. Uh, if it was 11 bucks, you know, I'd, I'd go and try it. $10, I'd probably try it. But um, 11, $15 is, um, is a bit too much for it, in my opinion. But, you know, that comes back to you. And if anyone's used it, please let us know down in the comment section. I'm curious, and I'm sure others will be as well. But the Emacs formula here, I'd rather just jump on the Emacs formula. I mean, if you have an issue with it, you could just write Emacs also. And I'm pretty sure they'll sort it out for you if you, if you ever had any problems. So obviously, if you didn't burn it yourself, but I mean, if you had a problem right from the beginning. And well, that's really it. That's all I could really say. I mean, the voltage spike is pretty nasty. Voltage drop got a pretty dip, long dip right there. Forget the voltage drops here. Uh, this one I forgot to clear the sweeps, but you could just clearly see we got like what is that? Let's just see from here. Uh, we'll see 
I'll just say two volts, and that's five volts, seven volts, and around around eight volt voltage drop here from sixteen point eight. So it's not really that bad, but it's okay for fifteen bucks. It's this is pretty good, and um, yeah, that's that's really it, guys. So I just really want to check this out because it's a new name, and I thought it'd be pretty cool. Maybe it'd be one of the best on the market, but yeah, I was wrong. And um, yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope it was helpful for someone, and. Um, Please consider joining my Patreon. I do a lot of awesome giveaways, three to four giveaways this month. And uh, I do give out micro quadcopters. Maybe I'll be giving out the Ishin Lizard and um, the DYS Shark and some other things. I don't know what, maybe ESCs or flight controllers. And um, yeah, so I do a lot of giveaways every month and your chances of winning are pretty high. So it also supports the channel. I need all the support I could currently get right now. And you can also use the fill links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That really supports the channel. And I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.